A major development in a story ABC News broke 24 hours ago. The undercover sting, the major security breach at dozens of American airports. A stunning number of fake explosives, weapons slipping right past those TSA agents. Americans spending hours in those lines, taking off our shoes, pulling out our computers, and now comes word of what was missed. Tonight, the fallout, the head of the TSA fired from his post. ABC's David Curley asking the tough questions tonight. The failures here, right at the security checkpoints, led to the ouster of the head of TSA. He's being reassigned. As ABC News first reported, so-called red teams from the Department of Homeland Security were able to beat these checkpoints with weapons or bomb components 67 out of 70 times. That's a 95% failure rate. This is alarming. Nothing short of alarming. I'm Jay Johnson. The Homeland Security Secretary so displeased he is demanding changes now, including retraining of TSA officers and supervisors, testing all of those detection machines, which apparently failed too, partly because they're poorly maintained. Is TSA broken? You know, I don't think TSA bro is broken. Obviously, the findings here are troubling. Um, and uh, clearly, we want to be able to continue to test and probe our system. A lot of passengers fed up when they hear about all this, David. And so what are flyers going to face now as they go through security? It's unclear whether we'll see any dramatic changes, whether you and I will notice in the lines behind me, David. The wait times of over 20 minutes dropped dramatically from last year to this year. But an airport security expert told me tonight there is a chance those wait times could increase as TSA reassesses the way it does business. All right, David Curley, live in Washington. David, thanks.